Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. My name is Alex. That's Kirby over there. Please, guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We're trying to get our channel up to at least a thousand subscribers. Um, in this topic, we're going to be talking about the friends that you choose will determine the level of success that you have in life. Now, I, I mean, I know I've had to cut friends uh, before because of this. Um, I'm sure you have too, Kirby. What, what experience do you have uh, with this? All right. Before I get into this, uh, just know we added a new feature on the YouTube. We, you know, we have playlists now that have, uh, you know, it's broken down in different categories, talking about our life struggles, giving, you know, life advice, interviews and things like that. So please check that out also. But I understand you had to cut off friends. I've had to cut off family, friends, everybody who they didn't they didn't jive with me. Um. I always say this word, people hate when I say it. Um, I say, unlike America, I don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> and people hate when I say it because the first thing everybody jumps to is say, oh, you calling me the Taliban or anything. I said, no, look up what terrorist is. Anybody that's against my way of life, and my way of life is financial success, financial freedom having more, abundantly more than I need to survive. If anybody's against that way of life, you're that is considered a terrorist. And that's what a terrorist is. Somebody that's against their way of life and use, you know, forced to change, you know, your way of thinking. And and then people will come back and say, well, we don't use force. I mean, how much that people try to convince me, especially people that I was call them broke, try to convince me that I need to change my way of thinking to their way of thinking. They don't realize that they have no money and you think I'm about to listen to you. That's what I mean by terrorists. And but it's it happens all the time where people try to convince me again, they have no money, no assets, no anything, but they want to convince me on what I need to do with my money. And I always say, why don't you get money and do what you said and let me, you know, continue on the journey that I'm on. But everybody wants to, you know, push along in the process. But it's profound words that always controls your life. That's that's how you profound words. And you might hear it from the strangest places, but it's very profound. When you hear that word, show me your friends. I'll show you your future. That is when you're on this financial journey, that's huge. The people you hang around, you probably heard uh, me or Alex talk about it. The people you hang around. The five people you hang around the most are that's normally what your outcome will be. The people that you hang around the most. So, I mean, me, me, like I said, I've cut off family, friends. I take it to the extreme. And when I say I take it to the extreme, I'm willing to cut off anybody that's against that is not trying to do what I'm doing. I mean, yeah, I have people out, you know, I'll go over their house, you know, have dinner with them or whatever. But on an everyday interaction, hang out with you know, doing what they're doing type of situation. I I cut it out altogether. My circle, my circle is so tight, my shadow's not even allowed in. That's how, that's how I I keep it. Because what I'm trying to obtain is generational. It's not just, oh, good enough to go to the club this weekend and then have enough, enough money to get back to work. So to do something extra or do something extraordinary, you have to do extraordinary things in the process. But I won't bore you to death, Alex. Go ahead, what you got? No, no worries. Um, yeah, it's absolutely true. Um, especially, you know, for, I could speak to the younger crowd at least, when you're coming out of uh, high school or college or whatever, um, that should be like the time where you're just like, cutting heads off i mean like because you're gonna see you're coming out of school with so many people that are still very immature um they just want to go out clubbing they want to go out partying they want to go out get drunk i mean i know uh people i went to school with or maybe not went to school with but uh went to school with kids who are friends with that i knew in that circle that they're constantly to this day still literally getting hammered drunk and the, the only thing that they got going for themselves is they say, oh, well, I go to college like, you know, they're, they're still children in my eyes. Um, right. And, uh, you know, they're not 
going anywhere. And if you continue to hang around people like that, I mean, just look at how many years that they wasted if they're, say, I'm 24 now. So that's six years. And what have they accomplished? Uh, nothing. Um, and that's something that the younger generation that I'm that I would be speaking to needs to pay attention to. Be careful with who you are hanging around. Um, because in, in that should be the time where you can start strategically or selecting who you're going to still keep around um, in your friend circle. If you don't see them improving, I mean, you don't have to be a, an asshole about it, but, you know, just stop talking to them and just focus on doing what you're doing. And those who admire what you're doing are going to want to learn from you. Um, and if anything, I mean, you can uh, start to work together on building ideas off of each other or um, like you've said before, you know, having um, multiple people working together is better than one working alone. Um, so, you know, you, you don't have to exactly build a LLC with them or nothing, but, you know, having a good friend circle um, with the same goals, same ambition, but same level of success as well is important. Uh, I have a friend of mine who is around the same age as me and um, probably a year older than me. And he has a successful uh, military antique business. Um, so, you know, I, you know, so that was something important to keep that contact. You know, he has a lot of knowledge in, in that and uh, his business does well. So it's just, you know, your friend circle gets very smaller and, it, and that's actually, that should be a good thing too. I mean, a lot of uh, friends aren't real friends, I would say. Right. And, and I saw a video on YouTube, I think, and I could be quoting the wrong person, but I think it was uh, Peterson was his last name. And he was talking about, and, and now that I think about it, it wasn't Peterson. I forgot the gentleman's name. Um, but he said this, he said, my kids, I'm not going to force my kids to go to school go to college. Do I want them to go to college? Yeah. So if I have a kid that don't want to go to school, he said, this is what I'm telling my, this is what I'm telling my kid. He's saying, I will tell him to befriend the wealthiest people in the school, the wealthiest people's kids, because the kids don't have the wealth, their parents, their parents, befriend, befriend them because if you start rubbing shoulders and being around people with money, it will, it becomes, it attracts, it attracts, it, yeah. you know, the, what, what they're doing, it'll start attracting, bringing motivation to your mind. Like uh, E.T. said, uh, the five people you hang around, or Dan Pena said, the five people you hang around, and that's what you're going to be like. If you're broken, you hang around five uh, wealthy people, you'll become the sixth. If you're, if you have money, but you hang around five broke people, you will become the sixth. So it's all about relationships and this game of money. And that's what I call it. The game of money. Besides having the knowledge, you need the relationships. If you have the relationships, they will instill the knowledge in you. But if you don't have the relationships, you better sit there and get a gang of knowledge. You're going to need a PhD in knowledge on the financial space to figure out how to get this how to get it going, but the relationships get you in better, get you in better uh, rooms with people that have the finances and resources and have the attitude to streamline and make your process faster. Yeah. Like me, I'm in the real estate game. So I know a lot of realtors. I know a lot of bankers. I know a lot of people that's dealing in that space uh, that's on a successful side of it. So I can pick their brain to do it. I don't, I can't sit there and call my cousin Nook Nook and be like, hey, bro, uh, what you know about this real estate? Nothing. He'll tell me a, a, a ghetto get rich quick scheme that's going <laughs> to put me in a worse situation. Yeah. So it's no value add to me. And then, like I say, I take it to the extreme. You know, most people say friend. I, for me, it's anybody. I can't be on a day to day basis with anybody that's not trying to progress in life. And, you know, family and stuff, you know, you love them and all that. But, you got to love them from a distance. It's always got to be, okay, that's what y'all doing. Go ahead. But I got another journey because at the end of the day, the only people that's going to succeed or die on my on my decisions is me and my family. So I can't sit around and sit on the porch and drink 40s and stuff with you back in the hood. I remember back in the military, 
when I was younger, I used to think, oh, man, I got to get back to my boys. And then every year or so, I would be in the military and go back home. And they were doing the exact same thing they was doing when I left to go to the military. And then after a couple of years, it finally set in that this is what they are. They're not going to do anything better. So what's the point of going back? And then that's why I stopped going back. And then I started, you know, hanging around, befriending, and reading a lot of books to gain knowledge. Because me, I'm a hermit. I'm, I'm like Alex, want to sit in the house all the time and, you know, gain knowledge and stuff like that. But the people that you hang around is the people that you want to be like. So the best thing that anybody should do is figure out if somebody's in your life, is there a value add? And I, I'm including spouses, girlfriends, I'm including everything. They have to be a value add to your life. Just because, oh, she got a nice butt, good rack, whatever they want to call it these days. You can't, that can't be the status of what you want to do. They have to be a value add to your life. And the people that you pick got to be a value add. It can't be because they look good or you're attracted to them uh, in any matter. It's only going to be a hindrance on your life. So choose yeah. wisely and choose effectively. I mean, honestly, if it, if it comes to family, too, you have to be you, the way I see it and that I've explained before is you only have you only have one life. Right. And so why mm -hmm. should you why should you live a life? Um, how can I say this? Like uh, entertaining other people, if if you only have one life, you know, you should live your life how you want to in the form of, um, you know, like I'm just talking on like how I live my life, basically. So like I want to be successful. I want to hang out with these people. I don't want to surround myself with negativity. And if you have people in your life, friends, family, whoever they may be that are a part of what you do not want to surround yourself with, there's no exception just because, oh, well, I grew up with them or, oh, they're in my family. It, do, it shouldn't come down to that because I hear that a lot from people. Don't be selfish. They're your cousin. They're your aunt. They're your third cousin, whatever they might be, your sibling. It, I mean, it doesn't really matter at that point. If regardless of who they are, uh, with if they're blood or whatever, if they're a negative influence to you or a negative person in your life, it doesn't matter what title that they hold in life they shouldn't be around you in your circle and they will hold you back um, if you right. hang out with them. It's important to uh, know who you're hanging out with and at times it's necessary and there's nothing wrong with being, uh, as some people would say, selfish um, because it's either you be selfish or you get held back in life and it's as simple as that. Right, and I'll close it out with this. It's going to, if, when you're going through that transition of figuring it out and you start transitioning away from the friends you grew up with that's not doing nothing to being around people that's doing something, it's going to be a lot of peer pressure. It's going to be a lot of name calling. I mean, I heard it a lot. Oh, you think you're better. I mean, I hear friends and family. You think you're better. You, you put yourself on this pedestal. It's, that's not the case. It's I demand more for me than what you're doing. That's really what it is. I will be no different from one of my friends, like I was just saying in the last example, standing on the corner of drinking 40s, if I didn't choose a different path. We was on the same road. We started out together. You just chose to get, get off on the exit that I wasn't on. So I don't think I'm better because I believe if I stayed in that same situation, I would be doing the same thing. The only thing different for me than them is we just chose to get off on a, on a different exit on the, inter, on the interstate and I chose to do different things. So don't let peer pressure keep you in that same situation. You know, you hear people call it crabs in a barrel and all that. Once one person tries to succeed, everybody try to bring them down. All it is is just peer pressure. If you succumb to it, then you, you will be in the same uh, environment that you're trying to get away from. Sometimes you got to put your foot down in your own life and say, hey, I don't want to be this anymore. And I have to be around people that's doing better. And if you around people that's doing better, if you knew better, you'll do better. That's one of my favorite models. And if you're around people that's doing better, they will teach you to do better. And then you will succeed more abundantly. But with all that being said, thanks, everybody, for joining in the channel. Again, hit that subscribe button. Like Alex said, we're trying to get over that, uh, that 1,000 subscription number and keep sharing this information. 
Uh, comment in the comment section below. Hit that like, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys.